Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field, dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it. Certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit parkviewsportsmedicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels. For every victory, for every highlight, for every team in the Summit Athletic Conference, we've got you covered. Like, follow, and subscribe for all the latest. The Acme Bar and Grill, where neighbors meet. A Fort Wayne tradition since 1941. We feature nightly dinner specials along with our iconic pizza, wings, and pork tenderloins and barbecue in our family-friendly atmosphere with a retro flair. Additionally, we offer a full bar with 26 beers on tap from various Midwest breweries. We also have an area perfect for private events such as meetings, reunions, and banquets that holds up to 50 people. The Acme Bar and Grill, located in the heart of East State Village, where neighbors Give your home the curb appeal it deserves and trust Kurtz Mio to power wash your home. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Just head on over to KurtzMio.com, request your virtual quote, and use the code Summit City for 15% off all power washing services today. That's KurtzMio.com, supporting the youth of Fort Wayne. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Parkview Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. Developing athletes to be foundationally strong. Healthy and consistent training. Expert staff. Long-term athletic development. Parkview Sports Medicine Performance. Any athlete, any age, any skill level. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Welcome to the Summit City. 
home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to high school boys basketball here on SummitCitySports.com. This is the second game of our doubleheader from Homestead High School. The girls of Homestead defeated Lures earlier on this court, and now we've got the boys game set to begin between Homestead and Bishop Lures. Homestead comes to this game at 4-1. and one. Bishop Lures comes in at 3-1, and one, so a couple of one-loss teams going at it. Both these teams have two-game winning streaks coming into this game. Homestead's most recent loss was against Marion. Marion is coached by Bishop Lewer's former head coach, James Blackman Sr. You might recognize that name as uh, the father of James Blackman Jr. James Blackman Jr., of course, played at Indiana. He was part of their run to the Sweet 16 in 2016. Last two games for Homestead wins on the road against Bishop Dwinger and right here against New Haven. For Lewer's, they have won their last two, knocking off Mishawaka Marion and Northrop. That's a really quality Mishawaka Marion team that they defeated and got their first conference victory of the season and their first conference game of the season against Northrop. So one of these teams is going to walk out of here with two losses, but neither of these teams are short on high-scoring players. On the Lures side, they've got the top-scoring player in this game. Demarcus Hudson averages 26 points per game. That's right, 26 points per game. And he actually sat out the season opener against Canterbury, which was a blowout victory for the night, 72-47. But Lures has plenty of other high-profile scorers as well. One of those other guys is Naylan Thompson. He's a junior, averaging 17.5 points per game, and senior Jalen Causey averages 10 points per game. This Lures team, they like to play fast. If they get out and run down the floor, you got to be able to run with them. One thing the coaches emphasize, and I'm sure that Chris Johnson will be emphasizing to his guys, is you got to get back defensively. Fonzo White and the Lures Knights, they want to play up tempo. So if you want to run, if you want to play with them, you got to run with them. Now this Homestead team. Well, they've been playing with just about everybody in recent years. They won a state championship back in 2015. Head coach Chris Johnson has won over 400 games. He got his 400th career win as a head coach last year against Blackhawk Christian. Speaking of Blackhawk, I'll be there tomorrow night as they take on Culver Academy here on SummitCitySports.com. A big game that will be. Meanwhile, Homestead's top scorers include the likes of none other than Luke Goody. He averages 15.8 points per game, and he's a junior, so he's got one more year of high school left. A lot of people saw what he did on the football field, leading the SAC in passing yards. Had a heck of a season on the basketball court so far this year. Had a heck of a, heck of a career on the basketball court as well. Zach Kruger averages 12 points per game. He's another player to watch out for. He's a senior guard, and he can shoot from the outside. Alec Grinsfelder. Another player who averages double figures, he averages 11 points per game on the season. Grant Simmons is not averaging double digits. He's just under double digits. He scores 9.6 points per game, but that's a big improvement from where he was last year. Meanwhile, Homestead is back out on the floor, and I believe we will have the national anthem here shortly, and that's after a quick shoot-around here on SummitCitySports.com. The Acme Bar and Grill, where neighbors meet. A Fort Wayne tradition since 1941. We feature nightly dinner specials along with our iconic pizza, wings, and pork tenderloins and barbecue in our family-friendly atmosphere with a retro flair. Additionally, we offer a full bar with 26 beers on tap from various Midwest breweries. We also have an area perfect for private events such as meetings, reunions, and banquets that holds up to 50 people. The Acme Bar and Grill, located in the heart of East State Village, where neighbors I was once a Southside kid who was led on a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real-world experience that I could take when I graduated, and they delivered on that promise. For me, 
The classroom only gets you so far, so they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management, insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. Welcome back, everyone. We are here at Homestead High School for the second game of our doubleheader between the Bishop Lures Knights and the Homestead Spartans. The Homestead girls won the first game, and now we will see the Lures Knights versus Lures Boys versus the Homestead Boys here at Homestead High School. Comparison between these two coaches. This is the second head coaching job for Lures head coach Fonzo White. He had two years as a head coach at Clinton Central. Lures was 4-8 and eight last year. They can match that win total if they can get a win here in hostile territory tonight. Homestead is coached by Chris Johnson. He's won over 400 games in his career, including six sectional titles in the last eight years. That's right, six sectional titles in the last eight years, plus a regional title in 2014 and a state title in 2015. Now, Lures, they play fast. They play up-tempo. They get the ball, and they go. That's what has happened last Several times Lures has taken the court. Now Homestead, they play a motion offense, so you'll see them move guys around without the basketball in the half court. And I mentioned you want to play with Lures, you got to run with them. Well, you want to play with Homestead, you got to run with them, and you got to guard some really good players. Well, we're going to turn things over to our PA announcer. We'll have the announcement of the starting lineups, and I believe the national anthem as well on SummitCitySports.com. So the starting lineups have been announced, and we are ready for basketball here at Homestead High School in southwest Fort Wayne. Bishop Lewer is also in the uh, southern portion of Fort Wayne as well. The school's not too very far away from each other, as it's going to be number 22, Alec Grinsfelder, to tip it off against Naylan Thompson. And we are underway here at Homestead High School, the second game of our doubleheader. Landon Moore has it on the opening possession. Now we don't see Lures playing much in the transition game at this point, not off the opening tip, but as the game goes on, they can create some missed shots. 
They will get out and run with the basketball. Here's a three from Hudson. That's no good. Fighting for the rebound is Thompson, and he rips it away. Check that. That was Hudson, and a foul down low. Or did he step out? I think he stepped out. It's going to be Homestead ball. Luke Goody puts it in play. Finds Zach Kruger. That's two of the top scorers on this Homestead team. Oh, that was very close. Grinsfelder did not have the ball when he came across the timeline. Caught it as he was coming across. Thompson, or excuse me, Hudson knocks that one out of play. Here's Kruger waiting to put it in. Got Grinsfelder right in front of him. He gets it to him. And Kruger, he's a guy that if you're Homestead, you definitely want. You definitely like it when the ball's in his hands. Archbold looking down low. Finds Goody on the interior. Can't get it to go, but Goody will head to the line. And a chance to get Homestead on the board. Luke Goody, the leading scorer for these Spartans. Averages just over 15 points per game. He was well guarded on that last possession, which can be a blessing and a curse if you're Lures. First free throw goes. That's an early 1-0 lead for the Spartans. A score that he wouldn't have seen on the football field. You may remember Goody is the quarterback for the Spartans football team. Now, I'm not sure if he got to witness this, but two of his teammates, Cam Rogers and Griffin Little, signed their letters of intent to go to college today. That pass thrown into the backcourt, and Kruger chases it down. One-on-one, it's blocked. Nalen Thompson gets down to swat it. And back the other way comes Lures, and I believe that's Nick Thompson. It is Thompson. And this game is tied. Lures brings some pressure, but Homestead is able to get it across the timeline. Here's Kruger at the top of the key again. It's a good thing when the ball's in his hands if you're Homestead. Feed to Goody. Open on the wing. Left it short. Tipped around, Simmons puts it back. Grant Simmons keeps the play alive. And Homestead leads it 4-2. This is Landon Moore guarded by Kruger at the top of the key. Moore has a bit of a height advantage over Kruger. Of course, height doesn't necessarily mean everything as Causey feeds it over to Hudson. Hudson looking to go to work. It's blocked. Simmons knocks it away, but the ball will stay with Lures. They get into Moore. Moore guarded by Kruger once again. I think that'll probably be the mismatch for most of the night. Here's Thompson. Feeds it over. That's Nick Thompson from the wing. He splashes home a three. Nick Thompson, a freshman, not averaging double figures, but he's off to a heck of a start tonight. Here goes Simmons to the lane. He puts it home in the lead right back to Homestead. Four points in the game for Grant Simmons. And it's a 6-5 to five lead for Homestead. Here goes Causey against the zone. Moore left open, 4-3. It's good. Landon Moore, the lead right back to Lures, and we've got a foul called. Looks like it's against Lures. Or did the ball just go out of bounds? Either way, it's Homestead basketball. Goody has it, feeds it back over to Kruger. He's left open for three, and he splashes it home. It was just a matter of time before the Spartans got their first three of the game. They got some kids who can shoot it. Kruger's one of them. Here goes Moore down the lane, and he's fouled. We've had three made triples so far in this game. One for Homestead, two for Lures. And Landon Moore will go to the line to shoot the free throws. They call the foul there on Kruger. And he hits the first, or rather Moore hits the first, to tie the game. 
Landon Moore with four points so far. Make it five. Lures has the lead. Lures trying to improve off that 4-19 campaign last year. A win tonight at Homestead would go a long way to help that cause. First of all, they'd match their win total from a year ago. Secondly, they'd win certainly one of the biggest games on their schedule. Feed over to Goody. He finds Simmons on the inside and the lead right back to the Spartans. Grant Simmons have a night. He's got six points in the game. And here goes Thompson looking to go to work. The freshman down the lane a little bit too strong. And back comes Kruger the other way, finds Archbold. Jake Archbold, the wide receiver on Homestead's football team. He caught several passes from Luke Goody this year. Couldn't get that one to fall. Grinsfelder keeps it alive and gets fouled. They call the foul on Landon Moore. That's his first. He's got a lot of Christmas-themed apparel in the Homestead student section. Long inbound to Goody. Here's Kruger out at the top of the key, finds Simmons. As Homestead continues to work the ball outside the perimeter, you're going to see a lot of that against these zone defenses. That ball thrown off the foot of Nayland, or excuse me, Hudson. Check that, it is Thompson. The black numbers on black jerseys is kind of hard to tell sometimes. Now the numbers are black, but they're outlined by the, by the color red. So you can see the numbers, it's just hard to discern sometimes. Archbold looking to put it in play. Grinsfelder a little bit short off the front of the iron. Hudson with the feed to Moore. Moore has it swatted. That's Goody. Defense all over the floor tonight. Seen a couple of block shots. But it's going to stay Lures basketball. And the inbound goes to Landon Moore. He's got Kruger on him. Moore looking to go to work. Here's Causey. He gets a high screen. Causey looking to go down the baseline. Hudson for three. And it rattles around but doesn't fall. Simmons snatches the board. Here goes Kruger down the floor. Goody open on the wing. He connects. Well, you leave him open, he can easily make you pay. That's Goody's first made field goal of the night. He's got five points total. It's the second three of the game for the Spartans, too. Moore with the feed. Lucas North from downtown. He splashes it home. Huge bucket for Lures as Homestead was on a bit of a run, but it's down to a one-point game. Here goes Simmons spinning in, up and under, gets it to go. Grant Simmons, eight points for him in the game. And that's North back on the other end to answer for Lures. Kruger with it. Lures still in the zone. As they work it over to Simmons. They've got Grinsfelder down low. Now he goes to the free throw line. Loses the ball. It's poked away by Causey, and it's Lures' ball. Here's more from the baseline. Feeds it back over to Thompson. And then work it back over to Jalen Causey. Coming up on one minute to play here in the half. Good feed inside. Hudson has it blocked. Trying to go for the steal. 
And they almost got the turnover, but here's Goody the other way. The lob, Archbold, back to Goody, and he's fouled. Well, Archbold had very little room to work with down on that baseline. That might be one reason he dished it back to Goody. They call the foul on Jalen Causey, and that'll send Goody to the line for his second trip to the charity strike. That's Nalen Thompson's first foul and the third against Lures. But Goody's able to stretch the lead. Fifty-eight point six, showing on the clock here in the first good quarter. Goody is two for two, and he's got seven points in the game. The second leading Homestead scorer at this point. Good double team brought by Archbold. Here's Moore with the feed to Hudson. Causey from the wing, no good. But an offensive rebound by Lucas North. Moore, the feed to Thompson. One dribble and a feed to Causey. Counted and a foul. And Jalen Causey is on the board for the first time. They call it on Zach Kruger. That will send Jalen Causey to the free throw line. Can't get it to go, but it's tipped and almost into the basket. That was Thompson who almost tipped it in to give Lures the lead. And now Homestead can hold for the final shot of the first quarter if they choose, and it looks like that's what they're going to do. Clock is down to 13 seconds. Archbold with it, finds Goody. Back to Kruger. Five on the clock. Here's Goody, double teamed. Has it stolen away. That's Hudson. A buzzer beater attempt. It's too strong. And at the end of the first quarter, we got a good one. 18-17, Homestead leading over Bishop Lures. We'll be back after one minute on SummitCitySports.com. Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable. Simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Back here at Homestead High School, the Spartans lead it 18 to 17. Back and forth we go in game two of this doubleheader on SummitCitySports.com. Homestead defeated Lures in girls basketball just before this game got started. That was a heck of a ball game, and so far this game is off to a similar start. Over to Zach Kruger. He's got a good look from downtown, and he cashes in. Well, you leave him open, he can make you pay. Kruger's hit two triples so far in the game. 21-17 in favor of Homestead. North with a feed outside. That's Nalen Thompson. And he looks to go against Goody. Spins away. Hanging jumper. And it goes. Nalen Thompson. The junior small forward. And Lures has a chance to tie it. That's a steal by Thompson. Here goes Causey. Couldn't put it home. And back come the Spartans. Kruger looking to go to work. 
Can't finish. Hudson rips away the board. There he goes down the floor. Hudson against two defenders. He's going to be called for the charge. Demarcus Hudson has yet to score tonight. And Lures plays fast, which can be a blessing and a curse. You play fast, you make the defense have to work, but against a team that's good at getting back on defense, the risk you run is, first of all, a lot of contested shots, and secondly, you run the risk of those offensive fouls. Lures will bring some full court pressure. Goody able to find Grinsfelder. It's one of those double digit scores that we haven't heard much from of in the scoring department. Here's Kruger. Oh, good feed to Goody. Another good feed to Grinsfelder. And he's called for steps. Here's Moore, gets around the screen. Well defended, though, by Grinsfelder. And they get it back outside to Hudson for three. He splashes it home, and Lures takes the lead. Check that. That was Thompson, Nalen Thompson for three. And the lead right back to Lures, 22-21. As recently into the game is number 24, Patrick Rodenbush. That jumper no good by Rodenbush. He chases it down, keeps it alive. Heck of a play by Rodenbush. Shot doesn't go. That's out of bounds. Oh, Rodenbush saves it again. And Kruger with a tough shot won't go. A long battle for the ball. And this possession will continue. That one goes out of bounds off of Lures. Grinsfelder, or excuse me, Archbold puts it home to give Homestead the lead. And Archbold is on the board for the first time today. And I believe that was Hudson. Nope, Thompson. Nalen Thompson. Seven points for him. The lead right back to Lures, 24-23. Archbold gives it up to Kruger. He's got Grinsfelder waiting to set the screen. They find Grinsfelder in a triple team, left it short, and the Knights have it. Landon Moore gets to the lane, a little bit too strong, and Kruger has the rebound. Archbold with it, he's got Goody in the middle of that zone. And an open three for Kruger, not this time. Offensive rebound, Grinsfelder, and back out to Goody for three. He connects. That's ten points for Luke Goody. He's hit two threes in the game so far. Homestead leads it by two. Over to Causey. He's cut off. That's Grinsfelder with a help side defense. He's on north right now. And Thompson looks to go. Right against Goody, feeds it back outside. Lucas North a little strong on the three. We're halfway through the second quarter. Here goes Kruger down the lane. Left it a little bit short. Grinsfelder keeps it alive. And Rodenbush connects for three. And with that, we'll get a timeout. Patrick Rodenbush on the board for the first time tonight. A full timeout back after this on SummitCitySports.com. The comments. Comments from the from the sky. 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 Give your home the curb appeal it deserves, and trust Kurtz Mio to power wash your home. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Just head on over to KurtzMeo.com. Request your virtual quote 
and use the code Summit City for 15% off all power washing services today. That's KurtzMeo.com, supporting the youth of Fort Wayne. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. 29-24, Homestead with the lead. Coming out of the timeout. It's been a fun one so far. This Bishop Lewers team comes in at 3-1. and one. This Homestead team comes in at 4-1. and one. And right now, Lures down five. It's been back and forth most of the way, and Lures hasn't had a whole lot of opportunities to get out and run in transition. Thompson couldn't put it in. Second chance doesn't fall, and Goody rips away the board, and it looked like he got popped in the eye. Well, he'll go off the court. And, well, I certainly hope this doesn't, it's, this isn't serious. Well, Chris Johnson will get somebody in to take his place. That's going to be Jake Archbold coming onto the court while Goody takes a breather. And it will be Homestead basketball. I mentioned Lures does not have many opportunities to get out and run in transition, but it did get a opportunity to dribble drive there from Thompson that he was not able to cash in on as Archbold dribbles around. Gets it over to Kruger. Kruger gets it back. And Homestead continues to work the ball around the perimeter. These zone defenses will force you to do that quite a bit. But they get it to Grinsfelder. He's setting up in the middle of the zone. And Lures has been pretty consistent with these zones. But Homestead has some guys who can shoot. Kruger's hit two threes. Goody's hit two threes. Patrick Rodenbush has knocked down a triple. And there's Quinn Harmon firing from long range, and that one was halfway down. And here comes Causey the other way. No numbers. He'll pull up and connect. Jalen Causey with a big bucket. He's got four points in the game. Gets it to a three-point lead. Kruger feeds it over to Archbold. Open three for Harmon. Not good. No good, I beg your pardon, as Thompson boards it. Thompson looking to go to the rim. He scores. A blow by Bucket by Nalen Thompson. Thompson now with nine points in the game. And here's Kruger looking to go against Nick Thompson. That's a bit of a size mismatch. Archbold gets it back out to Kruger. Pull-up jumper, no good. And the putback goes. Alec Grinsfelder. Just as Lures was cutting into the deficit, Grinsfelder gets a huge bucket to extend the lead back out to three for the Spartans. Backing in is Thompson. Well guarded. That's Kruger. Guarding him defensively, but Thompson scores nonetheless. And for Nick Thompson, he's got seven points. Nick Thompson's a freshman who seems to have a very bright future. If I'm not mistaken, he is the younger brother of junior Nalen Thompson. Nalen Thompson, one of the top scorers on this Lures team. We got Grinsfelder down low, Homestead does. As we are inside the final minute, of the first half as Homestead may be content to let the clock dwindle down before they get a shot off. Harmon feeds it back outside to Kruger. Don't be surprised if he pops one. They get it back to him. 30 seconds on the clock. Kruger will let it dribble out. Kruger directing traffic. Simmons gets it. Kruger double teamed. Long pass. It's stolen away. Nalen Thompson. And he gets fouled in transition. And he can tie the game. Foul 
They call that foul on Grinsfelder. As Luke Goody does come back into the game with seven seconds left, that's a good sign. He took a shot to the eye on a previous possession. Had to go to the bench. Certainly hope he's okay. Looks okay enough to go back in the game. Seven seconds left to go. They inbound it to Hudson. Hudson with Harmon on him. He heaves. No good. And the buzzer has sounded before the ball went out of bounds. So it will remain 31-30 to at halftime. Homestead with the lead. We will be right back after this break here on SummitCitySports.com. Sports Medicine's integrated sports medicine team is built to serve the needs of all athletes in all sports. Our team's only goal is to improve athletes in every facet. PSM offers performance training to help athletes get better on the field. Dedicated athletic rehabilitation and physical therapy to help them get better off of it. Certified athletic trainers in our PSM schools providing daily support to our athletes and a specialized orthopedic walking clinic when injury strikes. Call 260-266-4007 to speak to our care navigators or visit Parkview Sports medicine.com to learn more about what we can do to improve athletes at all levels for every victory for every highlight for every team in the summer athletic conference we've got you covered like follow and subscribe for all the latest The Acme Bar and Grill, where neighbors meet. A Fort Wayne tradition since 1941. We feature nightly dinner specials along with our iconic pizza, wings, and pork tenderloins and barbecue in our family-friendly atmosphere with a retro flair. Additionally, we offer a full bar with 26 beers on tap from various Midwest breweries. We also have an area perfect for private events such as meetings, reunions, and banquets that holds up to 50 people. The Acme Bar and Grill, located in the heart of East State Village, where neighbors Give your home the curb appeal it deserves and trust Kurt's Mio to power wash your home. Additional services include concrete ceiling, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Just head on over to KurtzMio.com, request your virtual quote, and use the code Summit City for 15% off all power washing services today. That's KurtzMio.com, supporting the youth of Fort Wayne. The Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable, simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express walk-in clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Parkview Ortho Express, located at the Sport One Parkview Fieldhouse, gives you access to quick care and orthopedic physicians when you need it most. Get x-rays, treatment, and referrals to Parkview Care, all in the convenience of a walk-in clinic. Parkview Ortho Express is open Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Friday, 7 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Saturday, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. Developing athletes to be foundationally strong. Healthy and consistent training. Expert staff. 
long-term athletic development. Parkview Sports Medicine Performance. Any athlete, any age, any skill level. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Welcome to the Summit City, home to the two six O's dedicated high school athletes and fans. Each victory and celebration captured by our camera. Treasure the highlights from the Summit Athletic Conference this season or complete games live or on demand. After all, nobody's more proud to call Fort Wayne home than SummitCitySports.com. It is 31 to 30 at halftime. The Homestead Spartans lead the Bishop Lewers Knights by one. We got a good one so far. It has been back and forth all the way through. Now Homestead has done a good job of limiting the transition opportunities for Bishop Lewers, but you know, as the game goes on, trends change. We'll see if Bishop Lewers is able to take advantage of more of those transition opportunities that they get. You'd think they'll get quite a bit of them as the game goes on. In fact, one of our replays shows you one of the transition opportunities they had right off a missed shot. And a lot of times that's when Bishop Lewers gets those transition opportunities. This was off a missed three by Quinn Harmon. Nalen Thompson was right there for the rebound. Now, not every transition bucket will look like this, but Nalen Thompson is good enough to make a bunch of them look like that. Nalen Thompson quick down the floor. He wasted absolutely no time getting to the bucket. And that made it a one-point game at that point. But this was just moments later. This was Homestead's answer, basically. This was Harmon, or excuse me, Kruger with a missed jumper, but it was Alec Grinsfelder crashing in for the board to make it a three-point lead for the Homestead Spartans. Those replays, as always, brought to you by Traction Athletic Performance. Go ahead and take a look at the top scorers for these two teams so far. Leading scorer for Bishop Lures is Nalen Thompson. He's got nine points in the game. Nick Thompson has seven. He scored the first five for Lures. Landon Moore has five, Lucas North has five, Jalen Causey has four. Demarcus Hudson hasn't scored yet, but we still got two whole quarters of basketball left to be played. Could take just a short amount of time before he gets it going. For Homestead, no surprise here. Their leading scorer is Luke Goody. He's got 10 points. No surprise with this either. Grant Simmons, he's had a heck of a season. He's averaging 9.6 points a game. He's got eight points, and a lot of his work has been done on the interior, as you would expect. He's a 6'4" guard slash forward and in the meantime Zach Kruger has added six points a couple of three pointers have gotten his scoring done Jake Archbold with two Alec Grinsfelder with two Patrick Rodenbush a three off the bench and he's made a bunch of hustle plays as well Patrick Rodenbush is a 6'3 senior guard slash forward and even though he didn't start and even though his minutes have been limited you wouldn't know it by the way he's played he has hustled after loose balls kept plays alive and a great job for these Homestead Spartans we will be back in two minutes, and then the second half will begin. You're watching high school basketball here on SummitCitySports.com. The Acme Bar and Grill, where neighbors meet. A Fort Wayne tradition since 1941. We feature nightly dinner specials along with our iconic pizza, wings, and pork tenderloins and barbecue in our family-friendly atmosphere with a retro flair. Additionally, we offer a full bar with 26 beers on tap from various Midwest breweries. We also have an area perfect for private events such as meetings, reunions, and banquets that holds up to 50 people. The Acme Bar and Grill, located in the heart of East State Village, where neighbors I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. I chose St. Francis because they, they made a promise that I would have real-world experience that I could take when I graduated, and they delivered on that promise. For me, 
the classroom only gets you so far. So they're setting you up with an internship. I had a mentor that they, they set me up with that was a CEO of a DuPont hospital in, in Fort Wayne. They offer degrees in accounting, business administration, risk management and insurance, marketing, and finance. You know, they just did a great job of the full circle of not only the, the education, but also the experience. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. Just about to start the third quarter here on SummitCitySports.com. It's been a fun one so far. Homestead leading 31-30 over Bishop Lures. Homestead won 21 games a year ago. Bishop Lures, yes, they had only won four games a year ago, but they seem to be getting better. And you watch the way Lures plays, you wouldn't think that this was a team that lost, or excuse me, that won just four games a year ago. They play quick, they get missed shots, they get the ball, and they go down the floor at lightning speed. And here's Landon Moore across the timeline. Mostly starters on the floor, all starters on the floor, actually, for Homestead. Same holds true for Bishop Lures as Jalen Causey is guarded by Luke Goody. Feeds it back over to Thompson. Causey drives down the lane. Tough shot, wouldn't go. Grinsfelder boards it. And back the other way comes Kruger. Kruger gets it back. He's got Goody coming to set the screen, and he will reset the possession. Lures had played a lot of zone towards the end of that first half. Now they go in the man-to-man. -man. Over to Simmons. He finds Grinsfelder inside, trying to make a move. Had it knocked away. Last touch by Lures. Lucas North, Lucas North will come into the game. Lucas North not a starter, but he gives you good minutes off the bench when he comes in. He's hit some big shots in his career with Bishop Lures. Their biggest win of the season so far was against Mishawaka Marion. Came from behind in the fourth quarter to win that one. Had a slow start to the second quarter. And Goody knocks down a three. No slow start for him. Goody's got 13 points, three triples. Pull-up jumper is good. And that's Nalen Thompson. Nalen Thompson now in double figures. He's got 11. He's the first Lures Knight to get to double figures. As Lures goes back into the 2-3 zone. Kruger. Good close out there by Thompson. And Archbold has it. Tried to make something work against that zone. But Grinsfelder puts it home. Back the other way, come the nice ball into the backcourt. That's going to be a turnover. Or is it? Was it tipped by Homestead? Hudson able to recover. Now he looks to go to work. Spins away. Tough shot. Wouldn't go. Hasn't scored yet. May take just a split second to get him going, though. We shall see. Archbold with the feet inside to Grinsfelder. Goody going to rock and fire. No good. Goody now drives, feeds it off, and it's stolen away. That's Hudson, the feet up ahead to Moore. Can't put it in. Goody boards it. Back the other way comes Kruger. The lob inside, knocked out of bounds. Jalen Kazi and John Peterson check back in for Lures. It's the first we've seen John Peterson in the game so far. Peterson gives him a little more size on the interior. Has Archbold with a long inbound. Goody trying to snag it. He does. He had Causey all over him. Now Kruger will fire. Too strong. Ripped away by Grinsfelder, and it's out of bounds off 
of Lures. That was one of those situations where the receiver passed to the quarterback. Remember Archibald was a wide receiver during football season. Goody was the quarterback. That's stolen away. That's Jalen Causey. Has it knocked away? It'll stay with Lures. He's thinking to himself, hey, enough of this talk about what Homestead did on the football field. We got a basketball game to play. That's what Causey was thinking there. Inbound to Causey. Gets a screen from Lucas North. Feeds it over. That's Hudson, and it's blocked. Hudson still scoreless. Kruger looking to go baseline. It's a back outside to Archbold. They find Grinsfelder in the zone. Tough shot, and it goes. Alec Grinsfelder. Give him six points on the night. And a six-point lead for the Spartans. Hudson spinning into the lane. Contact drawn. Gets his own rebound. Actually, that was Thompson. He gets it back out to Hudson. And now Peterson will look to go to work. And that pass too high for Peterson right into the hands of Kruger. Kruger finds Goody. Extra pass. Simmons for three. That's short. And Causey has the rebound. Check that. That's Causey who gets the feet on the other end. Misfires on the three. Goody rebounds it. Lures does a good job getting back on defense, but Goody takes it to the rim anyway. And a timeout is called on the floor. An eight-point lead for Homestead. It'll be a 30-second timeout. And we will go ahead and show you the latest replay brought to you by Traction Athletic Performance. Homestead wasted no time getting to the bucket. Beat Bishop Lures at their own game here. Goody with the rebound. They had two Knights get back on defense, but Goody was able to beat them both with that spin move. He has had a heck of a night tonight. 15 points in the game for Luke Goody. That's his first made two-pointer. He's hit three triples in addition to that. And, of course, two of his teammates from the football season signed their letters of intent for college tonight. Cam Rogers signed his letter of intent for Miami of Ohio. And Griffin Little signed his letter of intent for Bowling Green. Cam Rogers was a slot receiver as well as a linebacker, and Griffin Little was primarily a tight end, used a little bit at wide receiver. And meanwhile, Bishop Lures not out of this game, down eight. Can they make a run here before the quarter comes to an end? This is Thompson, waits for the screen from Peterson, looks to drive. Well guarded by Simmons. Lucas North left open. Too strong. You leave him open, oftentimes he makes you pay, but not that time. Grinsfelder, well contested by Peterson. And back the other way comes Causey. Causey looking to go. Finds Hudson on the wing. No good. Offensive rebound. North puts it in. Lucas North. The junior from off the bench, and a steal by Peterson, looking for Causey. Ran it down, and somehow found Peterson, and now Causey went right into the barricade in front of the entrance. Oh, what a move by Lucas North. He gets to the bucket. We got a ball game. Lures indeed is making a run. They're down four with 2.40 to go in this third quarter. Just when it looked like Homestead was pulling away, Lures shows that they're not done fighting. Goody, one dribble and a shot. It's good. <laughs> 18 points for Goody. His fourth three of the game. What a night he has had. Peterson sets the screen for Thompson. Lucas North out on the wing. Back up top to Causey. Peterson. They're going to call him for traveling. It was either that or a carry. 
but you knew that the call was coming. And we'll get a quick substitution here. That's Patrick Rodenbush coming back onto the court. And he made plenty of hustle plays when he came in late in that second quarter. As Kruger will bring it down the floor, gets a screen from Simmons. Jalen Causey on him. Kruger looking to get past him. Leaves it off for Goody. He'll fire another one. Not this time. And a rebound and foul. Rebound pulled down by Hudson. It's going to be Rodenbush who's called for the foul. Check that. It's on Simmons. And now Landon Moore and Nick Thompson will check into the game for Lures. Nalen Thompson will get it across the timeline for the Knights. Thompson looking to go to work. Gives it up to Hudson. Backs it out against Rodenbush. Hudson, tough shot, and it goes. Demarcus Hudson. You had a feeling he wasn't going to be off the board for long. Kruger down the baseline. Has it stripped away. That was Causey with the steal, and here goes Landon Moore down the court. Back out to Causey. Causey, tough shot, and he will go to the line. Couple of huge free throws coming up for Causey. It's on Kruger. He's called for the foul. The first free throw is good. And Jalen Causey cuts the deficit down to four. He's got five points in the game, make it six. And it's a one-possession game here at Homestead. Kruger with more on him. Kruger racing down the floor. Grinsfelder. He had Goody posting up. Now Goody gets it out on the perimeter. Grinsfelder trying to spin in. Feeds it back outside. Simmons for three. And a foul on the other end as Nick Thompson, I would believe, was the one who got bumped. For Simmons, that's his first three of the game. He's done a lot of his work on the interior. Jake Archbold will come back into the game. The foul was called, by the way, on Grinsfelder. Thompson finds more. Moore trying to make a move on Kruger. And here's Thompson with it again. Nalen Thompson, that is. He's got Nick Thompson running across the paint. Step back jumper by Thompson. It goes! <laughs> Nalen Thompson with a hand in his face still knocks it down. And Nalen Thompson now has 13 points to lead the Knights in scoring. Homestead can hold for the final shot. We're down to 15 seconds. Luke Goody with Thompson on him. Feeds it over to Kruger. Would be no surprise if he took the final shot here. But he's well defended by Nick Thompson. Kruger contested. It's out of bounds. Homestead ball. Chris Johnson wanting a foul call there. But instead they say that it's just knocked out of bounds by Lures. Lures has not committed a foul here in this second half so far. Homestead has committed three of them. A long inbound to Simmons. Can he get it off? He does. No good. And Homestead takes a four-point lead into the fourth quarter. We may have a fun finish in store here at Homestead High School. 46-42, fourth quarter comes your way next on SummitCitySports.com. Kelly Automotive Group is simple, transparent, reliable. 
Simple. Our customer specialists make buying a car easy and fun. Transparent. Our price listed is the best price. No hassle, no gimmicks. Reliable. Buy with confidence and peace of mind. We work hard to ensure the best value however you shop. Come see us in Decatur at the 2733 Auto Mall and shop seven brands in one location. The Kelly Automotive Group. Simple, transparent, reliable. Forty-six to forty-two, likely a fun finish coming down here at Homestead High School. The Spartans lead the Knights of Bishop Lewers as we begin the fourth quarter, and it is Homestead who will have the first possession of the quarter as Jake Archbold looks to put it in play. He feeds it into Kruger. Kruger with Landon Moore on him. He finds Archbold, and that's stolen away, but a foul is called. Jalen Causey was ready to run to the rim. And he gets some congratulations from Fonzo White. It was a heck of a play. It's just one of those plays where, unfortunately, you, you go after the ball, you try to make a play, but you end up committing a foul in the process. It does happen. Here's Kruger. Feeds it over to Goody. Kruger on the wing, had some space there, chose not to shoot it. Now Archbold looking to feed it inside. The feed to Goody on the interior. He tries to make a move. It's swatted away by Thompson. The feed up ahead to Moore, to the rim, and he's fouled. And Landon Moore will go to the free throw line. And Lures has a chance to cut into this deficit. been down as many as eight in this game but though they've gotten down they have not been out as Landon Moore splashes home the first one that's six points in the game for Landon Moore he had five early points scored five of the first ten for Bishop Lures he gets two on this possession he's got seven for the game he and Nick Thompson combined for the first 10 points of the matchup. Here's Kruger across the timeline, met by Moore. The feed inside to Grinsfelder. Open is Simmons for three. He got it! Homestead has been lights out from downtown. That's the second three of the game for Grant Simmons. Here goes Hudson. He's crowded by Goody. That's a jump ball. And the possession arrow will keep it with Lures. It's going to be Thompson to put it in play. He feeds it to Landon Moore. Hudson. Goody gave him some space. They get the entry pass to Thompson. And Goody's been guarding him much of the night. But there's Thompson for three. Can't get it to go. And Kruger comes away with the board. Outlet to Goody. Cross-court feed. Simmons again. Knocks it down again. 17 points for Grant Simmons. He was doing all his scoring in the first half on the interior. And he's got this homestead lead out to eight. Here's Hudson, the kick to Causey. Now Lures has some guys who can shoot it in their own right. That's one of them, Landon Moore, with the ball in his hands. Hudson drives, and a foul on the floor. They call it on Alec Grinsfelder. As Fonzo White calls out the play he wants. 6-11 to go, eight-point lead for Homestead. 
Check that. The foul is actually on number 32, Grant Simmons. So not on Grinsfelder. Thompson with a lob in to Landon Moore. He's picked up by Kruger. Screen set by Hudson. Open is Nick Thompson for three. He connects. <laughs> Nick Thompson. Ten points for him. Archbold drives to the lane. And a foul on the floor. They call the foul on Jalen Causey. And that's his third foul with 5.47 to go. Homestead has only committed, excuse me, Homestead has committed five fouls. Lures has only committed two fouls. Inbound to Grinsfelder. Goody trying to get free. Step back jumper. No good, but Goody will head to the line. They call the foul on Demarcus Hudson. And for Hudson, that is his third as Goody goes to the line. Try to extend this homestead lead. They've led by as many as eight in this game. They'll extend the lead to six on that first free throw by Goody. As John Peterson comes into the ball game. Two for two is Luke Goody from the charity stripe. He's got 20 points on the night. He's done much of his work from the free throw line and the three-point line. Thompson to the lane, blocked by Grinsfelder. That'll keep it with Lures, but a heck of a play by Alec Grinsfelder. And a long inbound to Landon Moore. Peterson comes out to set the screen for him. The lob inside to Peterson. Can't put it in and couldn't get the second chance. That looked like it was just about to go down. Here's Grinsfelder. Left it a little bit short. Ripped away. I think that was Simmons who stole it away. But that's poked from behind. Goody actually does keep control. And they're going to say last touch by Lures. With exactly five minutes to go in the game. Grant Simmons to put it in play. Gets it into Grinsfelder. Waiting for the screen. The feed inside. And the bucket goes for Simmons. And Simmons with 19 points. Outside to Thompson. Has it stolen away. Kruger back the other way against two defenders, but stolen right back by Nick Thompson. Thompson has Causey open, and he cashes in. An all-important bucket there for Jalen Causey to get it back to a seven-point game as it looked like Homestead was starting to run away. Well, still about four minutes to go in regulation. Kruger waiting for the screen. Got Simmons, rather, Grinsfelder down low. Right now, Goody with the ball in his hands. And he looks to go to work. Draws a crowd. Kruger with the feed inside. Grinsfelder, he gets fouled. That'll be on the shot. It'd be the fourth team foul against Lures. And they call it on Nalen Thompson. Two free throws coming up here for Grinsfelder. Gritzfelder came into this game averaging double figures. He's got six points on the night so far. Make that seven. Lucas North will come back in. One of those guys who gives you a big boost off the bench. And Demarcus Hudson will come back in as well. Give John Peterson a breather.
One for two, and the rebound pulled down by Hudson. Causey. They work it over to Landon Moore. He's left open, but can't connect on the three. Three and a half to go, an eight-point lead for the Spartans. That matches their largest lead of the game. Kruger gets it across the timeline. Out to Goody, and that's going to be a foul on Causey. Yeah, Goody's hit five threes in this game so far. I think he wanted that one to count. I beg your pardon, Goody's actually hit four threes in this game. It was a non-shooting foul, so Homestead keeps possession, but no free throws. Here's Archbold, the feed to Goody. Check that, that was Simmons, couldn't get it to go, and Causey rips it away. Here comes Hudson down the floor, trying to get to the rim, left it short. Out to Kruger. And that goes off of Nalen Thompson, and it will stay with Homestead. Inbound to Grinsfelder, almost stolen away. Hudson overran that one. Grinsfelder puts it in. Heck of a move to give Homestead their largest lead of the game. We got a timeout on the floor meanwhile, so we will take a quick break here on SummitCitySports.com. The comments. Comments from the family sky. 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 Comments from the Give your home the curb appeal it deserves and trust Kurt's Mio to power wash your home. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Just head on over to KurtzMeo.com, request your virtual quote, and use the code SUMMITCITY for 15% off all power washing services today. That's KurtzMeo.com, supporting the youth of Fort Wayne. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Call 260-266-4007 for more information. 2.53 to go in regulation. Homestead has a 10-point lead. Can Lures get a run going here before this quarter ends? Aylen Thompson will let it roll a little bit. Now he picks it up. Over to Causey. Causey waiting for a screen. He gets one. Back over to North. Moore with Grinsfelder on him. Trying to make a move on Kruger. North will go baseline and throws it out of bounds. So Homestead will take over with 2.32 to go. Nick Thompson back into the game for Lures. as it certainly looks as though Homestead may be 5-1 when this night is all said and done. Add a conference win to their resume. They've already defeated Bishop Dwenger earlier this season. That was on the road. Grinsfelder couldn't finish. Tip in by Goody. 22 points for Goody. And ripped away by the Spartans. I think that was Goody who got the steal. As we are down to two minutes to go, just about. Kruger gets a screen to the basket. Kruger with a blow by bucket. I believe it's been since the first quarter since he put one in the hoop. That one goes short from Hudson. And Goody grabs the rebound. Goody trying to breeze by everybody. He finds Kruger. Simmons along the baseline. Couldn't get it to go, but a foul is called. Nick, excuse me, Grant Simmons will go to the line.
It's been a heck of a night for Grant Simmons. He's got 19 points in the game. And he'll get to 20 with that free throw. It's a 15-point lead for the Spartans. The second one is good. And it's a 21-point night for Grant Simmons thus far. Still got a minute and a half to play. 65-49, Homestead with the lead. It was close for three quarters, but Homestead started to pull away in the second half. Moore with the floater. Landon Moore with nine points in the game, and Goody will call timeout to avoid the five-second call. And we'll see how long of a timeout they ask for. Well, Goody called the timeout specifically to avoid the 10-second call. It's a 30-second timeout. We've had a couple of pretty nice-looking buckets these last couple of possessions. We'll go ahead and show you the more recent one. This replay brought to you by Traction Athletic Performance. It was a tough shot by Grinsfelder, but how about Goody? Had to tip it twice, and the second one was good to go. And then our next replay, this is an all-out blow-by that you're about to see. But this is Zach Kruger going past everybody and getting to the rim to score. Zach Kruger had been quiet as far as scoring goes since the first quarter, but got past the entire Lures defense on that last possession. Goody looking for the baseball pass. Now he lobs it to Simmons. Simmons loses possession. Hudson the steal. And back up the floor comes Landon Moore. Causey will go baseline. The feed to Hudson. No good. Rips away the miss and puts it in. Lures was down by 15 just or 16 just moments ago, but they're showing some fight. It's been a quiet night for Demarcus Hudson. He's got four points, an unusually quiet night. Kruger, his double team. And I think Chris Johnson wants a timeout. I think we got a foul call anyway. Uh, we do get a timeout. Homestead calls a timeout, a full timeout, so we'll take one right along with him here on SummitCitySports.com. I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football, a journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life. Developing athletes to be foundationally strong. Healthy and consistent training. Expert staff. Long-term athletic development. Parkview Sports Medicine Performance. Any athlete, any. 65 to 53, Homestead looking to close out a victory to go to 5 and 2 on the season and 2 and 0 in league play. They already got a road win against Bishop Dwinger, but a foul is called that will send Luke Goody to the free throw line. Only loss of the season so far for Homestead was against Marion High School, and Marion is coached by former Bishop Lewers head coach James Blackman Sr. He won two state championships at Bishop Lewers, added another state championship when he was at Marion. As Goody adds to his point total. Chris Johnson, of course, led the Spartans to a state championship in 2015. Goody goes one for two on that trip to the stripe. Here comes Landon Moore racing down the floor, up and under, and he puts it home. Are you kidding me? Landon Moore, the circus shot. And we get a foul called, meanwhile, after the inbound. Landon Moore gets 11 points. That 
is worth another look, and we'll give it to you here in just a moment on the Traction AP replay. Landon Moore beats Luke Goody. The left, or well, he's right-handed. It's Lucas North who's left-handed, but Moore goes up and under. What a shot that was. And Lures, give them credit. They're showing some fight, even though there's little time left in this game. 23.4 seconds left. You know, it's going to be a, it's certainly going to be a tough night for Bishop Lures, but there's a lot of basketball left to be played, and Lures is scheduled to play Homestead again in the SAC Holiday Tournament. That game will be on December 27th. That tournament normally played at Wayne High School. I believe it will be there again this year. Here's Goody to put it in play. Long pass down the floor to Grinsfelder. He's fouled. And very little time came off that clock, if any. Alec Grinsfelder will head to the line. They get Lucas North for the foul. Free throw rims out. It was a one and one, so Hudson snags the rebound. 20 seconds on the clock. Hudson looking to go to work. He puts it home and a foul. Lures still fighting. They've made this a single-digit game. There's only 16.8 seconds left to go. But don't tell the Knights that. They call the foul on Jake Archbold. John Peterson will check in for the Knights. as Hudson can make this an eight-point game at the free throw line. That possession took just six seconds off the clock, but he missed the free throw. Archbold boards it. Here's Grinfelder, and he's fouled by Hudson. So that'll send Grinsfelder to the line for the one-and-one. One. That's the ninth team foul against the Knights. That's the fourth personal foul on Hudson. And he hits the first one to get it back to a double-digit lead for Homestead. Alec Grinsfelder will finish in double figures. He's got 10 as it stands right now. Second one is good. 11 points for Grinsfelder and an 11-point lead for Homestead. Moore will pick it up. Long three. Nalen Thompson too strong. Goody runs it down. He's crowded. Flips the pass up ahead, and Homestead will celebrate a victory. Their first SAC home victory of the season. Their first SAC home game of the season. Homestead wins it by a final score of 68 to 57. So it's a girls and boys sweep for the Spartans. The girls beat Lures in the first game. The boys beat Lures in the second game. And again, the Homestead boys basketball team goes to 5-1. and one. Lures falls to 3-2 and two on the season. And with that, we will come back after this break here on SummitCitySports.com. The Acme Bar and Grill, where neighbors meet. A Fort Wayne tradition since 1941. We feature nightly dinner specials along with our iconic pizza, wings, and pork tenderloins and barbecue in our family-friendly atmosphere with a retro flair. Additionally, we offer a full bar with 26 beers on tap from various Midwest breweries. We also have an area perfect for private events such as meetings, reunions, and banquets that holds up to 50 people. The Acme Bar and Grill, located in the heart of East State Village, where neighbors I was once a Southside kid who was led in a journey by high school football. A journey that taught me discipline, toughness, and the skills that made me a success. As a businessman with a CPA license who owns his own firm, I still use the building blocks of high school sports in my everyday life. Someday sports will end no matter what level you reach, but you will be left with the skills to compete in the next game, the game of life.
back here at Homestead High School. The Spartans win this one 68 to 57 over Bishop Lures. Well, Bishop Lures, they're a team that likes to get out and run in transition, but Homestead, they did a good job of getting back in transition. They did a good job with their help side defense, forcing Lures into some difficult shots, not making it easy for them to get inside and score around the rim. So Homestead, give them credit defensively, and a lot of players who played play great on the offensive side as well. Speaking of offense, we'll go ahead and give you the final statistics from this game for Lures. Naylan Thompson was their leading scorer with 13 points. Landon Moore right behind him with 11. Nick Thompson with 10. Lucas North with 9. Jalen Causey with 8. Demarcus Hudson with 6. For Homestead, their leading scorer was Luke Goody with 23 points. Grant Simmons with 21. Zach Kruger with 8. Patrick Rodenbush with 3. Alec Grinsfelder with 11. And Jake Archbold with 2. So the... Player of the game tonight will be none other than Luke Goody. He hit four threes in this game, was the leading scorer with 23 points when all was said and done, although an argument could certainly be made for Grant Simmons. He played great on the outside, played great on the inside, 21 points for him. Started out scoring on the interior, and then later in the game got it done on the exterior. So Homestead wins this one 68 to 57. These two teams will play again in the SAC tournament at Wayne High School. That'll be at 10.45 a.m. on December 27th, a week from today. Before we go, we will get one more word in from our sponsors that allow us to come out and do these games that we get to do here on SummitCitySports.com. Today's broadcast is brought to you by SummitCitySports.com. Follow us on Twitter at 260 Sports, like our Facebook page, Summit City Sports, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Kelly Automotive Group is Indiana's number one automotive group with over 1,000 new vehicles and 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Please visit drivekelly.com. Simple, transparent, and reliable. Acme Bar and Grill is currently located at 1105 East State Boulevard in Fort Wayne. Order your favorite pizza, pasta, salad, and more, all with the click of a button. Acme Bar and Grill accepts orders online for pickup. Give your home the curb appeal it deserves and trust Kurtz Mio to power wash your home. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. The world is waiting for you to make a difference in a way only you can. Discover your strengths at Indiana Wesleyan University's residential campus in Marion, Indiana. Visit indwes.edu. Tom Steel Tire has been servicing the Fort Wayne area for over 40 years. They'll help you find the perfect tire for your vehicle and other auto repair services like brakes, wheel alignments, engine diagnostics, and more. Big Eyed Fish has been around the Northeast Indiana area for generations. Like their Facebook pages for updated promotions. Enjoy the best fish in Fort Wayne in a family-friendly environment at Big Eyed Fish. El Azteca Mexican Restaurant has been serving consistent food since 1973. Their recipes use only the best fresh ingredients. They are family-owned, and they pride themselves on great quality. For more information, go to LAztecarestaurant.com. Anderson Heating and Air Conditioning is dedicated to providing the best possible solution for your home or business. You can count on them to provide you with a system and solution that fit your unique needs. Well, that is going to do it from here at Homestead High School. The Spartans win this one 68-57. to for everyone at Summit City Sports, this is Thad Goff saying so long from Homestead High School. Again, Homestead wins it 68-57. to The comments. Comments from the from the sky. 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 Give your home the curb appeal it deserves and trust Kurtz Mio to power wash your home. Additional services include concrete sealing, deck and fence cleaning, driveway replacement, and stamped concrete. Just head on over to KurtzMio.com. Request your virtual quote and use the code SUMMITCITY for 15% off all power washing services today. That's KurtzMio.com, supporting the youth of Fort Wayne. Joint pain, sprains, strains, or a possible broken bone? Make the Parkview Ortho Express Walk-In Clinic your first stop when you have an orthopedic or sports injury. Call 260-266-4007 for more information.